Well after Isaiah Boggs signed with a school other than LSU, the hulking, athletic defensive lineman revealed to Broussard, his former position coach, that on Thanksgiving week of last year, Boggs had planned to verbally pledge to the Tigers and coach Ed Orgeron. He was about to commit and everything, Broussard said this week. Orgeron thought it was a done deal. So did many others. All signs pointed to Bugs signing with LSU during the junior college signing period last December. For one, he was from Louisiana, and his connection with LSU staff ran deep. In many ways, the Ruston native was a silent commitment to the Tigers. He was a beast of a man who would give this defensive front immediate help. After all, in two seasons at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, Boggs went from a 230-pound high school player with no major offers to a 6-foot-5, 290-pounder ranked the number one junior college player in the country. He seemed destined to return to Louisiana, bound for the flagship school of his home state. He signed with Alabama. Listen, I was recruiting Isaiah Boggs. I was recruiting Requin Davis. Orgeron said earlier this week, referring to another bomber defensive lineman who spurned the Tigers for the Crimson Tide. They beat us on those guys. Those are the guys that we need to get. We need to beat them in recruiting. The real battle between Alabama and LSU is not on any football field. It's fought at the dinner table of 17-year-old kids, on Mama's front porch, and in Daddy's work truck. It's waged in high school locker rooms, in long telephone conversations and text message exchanges. Bugs is just the most recent example of what's become an unsettling trend for LSU in the war between these two set West powers. Alabama is signing the most highly ranked linemen, developing them into all-American types, and then using them to extend the longest winning streak in this series since the 1980s. The gap between the programs on the offensive and defensive lines shows in the stats of their past six meetings, Obama wins. Look no further than four categories that the tide has dominated. Average offensive yards, 359.8 to 229.5. Average rushing yards, 180.1 to 81.8. Yards per carry, 4.5 to 2.2. And total sacks, 20 to 9. This trench war is one-sided. This big man's game, as Orgeron referred to it this week, is unequal. Year in and year out, it's kind of a trenches game, LSU defensive and Christian LeCoucher said. Every game is usually won in the trenches, but for this game especially. They want to run the ball, and we want to stop the run. We want to run the ball, and they want to stop the run. Top-ranked Alabama, 8-0. 5-0 sect can win a seventh straight game over number 19 LSU, 6-2, 3-1, on Saturday at Bryant Denny Stadium. Just 10 years ago, LSU scored 41 points against Alabama in Tuscaloosa for its fifth consecutive victory in the series. The Tigers haven't scored more than 21 points since. How the chasm got so wide so quickly is not so easy to explain. Former coaches, ex-players and recruiting experts hold different views in explaining the change. Some point to production at the quarterback position. Others lean toward the depth and talent on the lines. They all agree on one thing, Alabama coach Nick Saban is out recruiting LSU, just like he's out recruiting every other college program. It's pretty simple, former LSU coach Les Miles said. Great job recruiting. They are a recruiting organization. Everything they do is based on serving the player and is a recruiting tool. The advocate examined the defensive and offensive line signees of LSU and Alabama over a seven-class period, 2010 to 2016. The numbers show a striking disparity between the two programs in line and signed, in both the sheer number and in caliber of the signees. During those seven years, Alabama has signed more defensive linemen, 33 to 29, and offensive linemen, 30 to 27, than LSU. The more glaring numbers are the talent levels. The Tide has signed 13 offensive linemen ranked in the top five at their position. LSU has signed four. Bama has signed 17 defensive linemen ranked in the top 10 that I am in at their position. LSU has signed 11. 
It's not just LSU, said Booker McFarland, an ESPN analyst and former LSU defensive lineman. You can substitute 129 other schools. Bama gets five-star and four-star O-linemen and D-linemen and develops them.